I'm Sean Hughes and I'm a powerlifter from Anglesey in Wales. I'll have a pack of frozen black and a pack of bluey. I use powerlifting to unwind from daily life, but sometimes, you know, obviously, when you take something as serious as I take powerlifting, you know, ultimately that gets on your mind as well. I think fishing is important to me to unwind from powerlifting sometimes. It's important just to keep your mind in a good place that you've got something to turn to when powerlifting isn't going all guns blazing, which it doesn't always. My gym is a shipping container in the back garden of my parents' house, so that's got its own challenges. Where I live on Anglesey, it's a very sort of remote, rural area. You know, the container is essential for me to be able to fit powerlifting into my life. I think for me the hardest thing about training is that I have to train by myself. You think about things so much and you haven't got anyone there to give you feedback. It can be quite difficult and there's even been times where sort of in my mind I thought is powerlifting something that I've just made up in my head. The hardest thing about training for me is, is the isolation of it. But you know a good training session just completely wipes it all and it just gives you a feeling of you know I, I can conquer anything. But you know if, if training goes bad then the world's ending and stay out my way. I just love the idea of not so much sustainable living, but knowing where everything's come from. So the only thing I've got growing in here at the moment is purple sprouting broccoli. The actual broccoli heads won't form until next March, but the leaves, they're quite nice. Temporarily, we're living in a caravan in the back garden, which, in all fairness, is better than what the old house was, but it's still not ideal. There's going to be a lot of work, but one day it's going to be really satisfying. It's going to be a long journey, but it's going to be a very rewarding one. I'm just cooking my uh, my lunch meals for the next four days with work, gym, and doing bits on the house. It's difficult to find the time to cook four or five meals a day so if I can have at least three of them ready prepared it saves a lot of time over the course of the week. That is set like treacle. The Marmite just gives it a bit of a richer taste. I dedicate a huge amount of time to, to training, cooking, recovery work, you know doing things towards being a better power lifter. I just enjoyed lifting weights and still why I do it today it's a hobby it's just that it's such a, a pure measurement of bettering yourself there's no aspect of subjectivity to it it's the weight on the bar is the weight on the bar you either lift it or you don't so you know it's just such a pure test of bettering yourself it's just very rewarding played rugby from when I was about 12 what frustrated me a lot was you know sometimes I could feel like I was giving it my 100% you know to try and win what I was giving might not have been reflected by everyone else but you know with powerlifting it there's no one to blame if things don't go right or if you don't hit a weight or something there's no one else to blame it's all on you in the last two years, I'd say I've probably had a, a major switch in mentality where rather than chasing records, to me, hitting personal bests is a lot more rewarding than winning titles. I don't know why people don't count weights as cardio. I'm very impulsive, I'm very energetic. Powerlifting has given me something to direct my energy towards, whereas I think without powerlifting, something that I'm so obsessed about and dedicate so much to, I have no doubt that, you know, that energy would have gone towards negative things in my life. So I think it's kept me out of trouble. Oof. I just love lifting weights. Makes me feel good, makes me happy. It's a hobby and my drive is, I want to be amazing at my hobby. Job done.